Hello everyone. Welcome to Using Your Graphing Calculator in Math 140. I'm Fred Felden. Thanks for watching. In this video, we'll learn how to use the graphing calculator to find the minimum or maximum of a function called the extrema. That's just a fancy name for the highest or lowest point on the graph of a function, either on the entire function or over a small interval of the function. Here's an example. This is called a surge function because it increases rapidly at first and then slowly declines, like the concentration of a drug or medicine in your bloodstream when you first swallow or inject it. In this case, the input is the time t in hours, and the output is the concentration of the drug from 0 to 1, or 0 to 100 percent. Let's find the maximum. Here's the steps and I'll walk you through them. Display the graph. Get the window set so you can actually see the high point or low point it is that you're trying to find. And then go to the calculate menu. Choose minimum or maximum and then define a left bound or right bound and find the extrema. Okay? Let's open the calculator. Start from the home screen. You can see the blinking cursor in the upper left hand corner. Hit F1, Y equals, and enter the equation. Let's see, it's a point 0.8. We'll use the usual X variable for the input time. And then the exponential function is down here along the left hand column. Notice it's in blue above the LN key, so I'll hit second e to the x, and it automatically puts a left parenthesis there to enclose the exponent. And it's negative, use the leading, the leading negative sign, uh, negative 0.45x, close parenthesis. To display the graph, as I've mentioned before, I usually start with the standard viewing window. So hit F3, zoom, and choose number 6. Hmm, not a good window, is it? As in many cases in Math 140, negative inputs and outputs don't make sense, so let's just look at the first quadrant. Hit F2, window, 0 to 10 is OK on the x-axis. And on the y-axis, remember, we're just going from 0 to 1 with a tick mark every tenth of a unit. OK, and hit F5 graph. There. That looks great. Now let's go to the Calculate menu. Hit 2nd, F4, Calc, and choose number 4, Maximum. And as we've done previously, the calculator is asking for a left bound and then a right bound. So position the cursor a little to the left of the maximum point. There's no set amount, just somewhere. A little to the right of the maximum point and hit enter. And then take a guess about where you think it is and hit enter. And there's the maximum. After about 2.2 hours or so, the concentration of the drug reaches a maximum of about 0.65. Could you have done this by hand using paper and pencil? Well, yes, but not using algebra. It requires calculus and a process called finding the derivative of a function. We'll learn that later in the class. You should always know how to do it both ways, using the calculator and using paper and pencil. Let's try one more, a cubic. The function is x cubed minus 4x plus 180, and let's say we want to find the maximum. Hit F1, y equals. We can clear out the last equation and type in the new one. Let's see, that was x cubed, so use the up arrow, x to the third power minus 4x plus 180. 
As usual, start with the standard viewing window. Whoa! It looks like a line that goes straight up. But you know what the graph of a third degree function must look like. One of these. So our first job is to find an appropriate viewing window. In the last video I showed you how to zoom in and zoom out and use the table feature. Let's try another common sense trick. Eh, it's not really a trick. Let's call it a common sense idea. Look at the equation again. When x equals 0, what's the output? Right, 180, isn't it? So hit F2, window, and let's go down and let the y max go up to 200. Now I don't want 200 or 210 tick marks, so let's make a tick mark every 10 units and hit F5 graph. Ah, that's better, isn't it? I can see about where the minimum of the function is. Let's change the window to get in a little closer. Make the x min negative 4, the x max 4, and the y min 0. Hmm, better, but I'd like to make the graph a little more curvy. I love trying to find the best looking window. Let's make the y min 150 and leave everything else the same. There! Is that cool or what? Now we can find the minimum. Hit second, F4, calc, and choose number three, minimum. Follow the left bound, right bound process to define an interval. And there it is. Ta-da! Let's take a look at what we did. To find the minimum of this function, we first had to go through a series of guess and check, trial and error steps, where we had to change the viewing window a few times. Students tell me this is one of the hardest parts of using the calculator. It really is an art. And the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So fool around with the viewing window a lot as you use the calculator. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.